to my channel. My name is Holly. This is She Reads. We are still in the middle of Halloween and today's video is going to be a gigantic unboxing. So I recently ordered a whole bunch of books. I bought some Amazon packages, some Indigo packages, and a book outlet package. So I have been doing some shopping. Um, I have not looked through these yet. I just went through and I opened, like I just opened everything up so it would be easier on camera, but I haven't actually looked at anything yet. I have an idea what some of them are, just from what I can remember, but some of them I have absolutely no idea <laughs> what they could be. So it's going to be just a surprise to me. Um, there's going to be a couple things in here that is actually for my giveaway that I did for my 100 subscribers. Um, so I am not going to show those things because I obviously haven't sent that package out yet because I've been waiting for stuff. Um, and I don't want Megan from May Reads um, to see this video and find out what I'm giving her before she gets it. So there's going to be a couple things that I'm not going to show you. Um, but let's just get right on into this because I'm very excited. I received this yesterday and I was busy doing other stuff. If you watch my vlog, you know, I decided that I was going to wait to open all this stuff. So I have not opened it yet. So I am very, very excited to get into this. So the first package that we are going to open is an, it is a Amazon package. And I think that this is my pre-order for the next person you meet in heaven. And I would be correct. So this is the sequel to my favorite book of all time, which is The Five People You Meet in Heaven by Mitch Albom. And I'm actually a little bit disappointed because I thought this was going to be the exact same style as the other one. Um, when the pre-order was offered, you could choose whether you wanted the hardcover or the soft cover. And I have the original one in the soft cover, so I ordered a soft cover, but it's not in the same style. Like it's larger than the other one, but whatever that's fine I am extremely excited about this one so this one oh this is the next book after following the five people that you meet in heaven and I am so excited to read this um so this one says in Mitch Albom's beloved number one bestseller the five people you meet in heaven Eddie a war veteran turned amusement park mechanic dies saving a young girl named Annie from a tragic accident Although he felt his life was meaningless on earth, Eddie learns from five people in heaven how much his and every life matters. In this long-awaited sequel, Annie is whisked into her own heavenly journey after her wedding day and into an inevitable reunion with Eddie, one of the five people who will show her how her earthly life touched others in ways she could not have fathomed. The next person you meet in heaven reminds us once again that all endings are beginnings, even if we don't know it at the time. I am just... I'm so in love with the first book that I I cannot wait to get into this one. It's just, it's going to be amazing. I know it is. <laughs> so the next book is from Indigo, and I'm thinking that this one might be the Miss Peregrine book, the new one. Um, gosh. And I am red again. <laughs> so I also pre-ordered this one um, just a few weeks ago, actually. So this is the fourth installment to the Miss Peregrine's Home for, Pe for Peculiar Children. Um, this one is called A Map of Days. This is the fourth novel. So I honestly am not sure what this one is about, but I just knew there was a fourth novel in the Miss Peregrine series. So that's not even a question. Like, well, of course you need to buy that. That's not even a question. So this one says, having defeated the monstrous threat that nearly destroyed the peculiar world, Jacob Portman is back where his story began in Florida, except now Miss Peregrine, Emma, and their peculiar friends are with him and doing their best to blend in. But carefree days of beach visits and normaling, normaling lessons are soon interrupted by a discovery, a subterranean bunker that belonged to Jacob's grandfather, Abe. Clues to Abe's double life as a peculiar operative start to emerge, secrets, losing, secrets long hidden in plain sight, and Jacob begins to learn about the dangerous legacy he has inherited. Truths that were part of him long before he walked into Miss Peregrine's time loop. Now the stakes are higher than ever as Jacob and his friends are thrust into the untamed landscape of American peculiardom, a world with few, a world with few embryons or rules that none of them understand. New wonders and dangers await in this brilliant next chapter for Miss Peregrine's peculiar children. Their story is again illustrated throughout haunting vintage photographs, but with a striking addition for this all-new multi-era American adventure, full color. Cool, that sounds awesome. 
I am very excited to get to this one. I'm almost thinking, I'm trying to decide if I want to reread the other three. I think I remember them well enough that I probably don't need to do that, but I don't know. I'm going to think about that before I read this one. This, I have absolutely no idea what this is, but it feels like books. A book. Oh, this, we just ordered this like last week. I'm surprised this came. This is not for me. <laughs> this is for my son. These are, he's become obsessed with Thomas. And so I wanted to order him some books for Christmas. So this is Good Night Thomas, Thomas's One, Two, Three book, and Thomas's ABC book. So those are for him for Christmas. And I'm actually very surprised that those came as quickly as they did. So those are for him, not for me. <laughs> So this next box is a box also from Indigo, and I do believe there are some things in here um, for my giveaway, so there's going to be a couple of things that I will not be showing. Uh, it's just like Christmas. I love this. <laughs> okay. Mm, okay. So there's one, two, three. There's four things in here, two of the things I can't show you. <laughs> So the first thing that I ordered for myself is a journal. They had a bunch of their journals on sale and they have the most gorgeous journals. So I'm going to this out so I can see it better. So it just looks like a starry night and it says only in darkness can you see the stars. Hopefully you can see that. Very pretty and it's just, it's just a journal blank pages. I always just love having notebooks lying around. Like I'm constantly jotting down this or that or whatever in a notebook. <laughs> and the next thing that I can show you, these other things I can't pack this up. <laughs> the next book is I'll Be Gone in the Dark by Michelle McNamara. And I have heard of nothing but good things about this. Um, so this is one woman's obsessive search for the Golden State Killer, and they, it is said that this book actually did help them track down the Golden State Killer. I'm not sure if that is 100% accurate or not, but that's what I've heard. And I believe that this woman actually passed away before this book was completed, so that's kind of sad, but um, it's Patton Oswalt's wife. So yeah, that's really sad, but I mean, they did catch him now, and I'm very, very interested to read about this. I've heard nothing but good reviews on it, so that'll be a good one. I might actually, if I end up reading all of my Spookathon books, I might actually add this one in there, because that would probably be a very good thing to read for Spookathon. And lastly, we have our book outlet, and I know that there is something in here as well that is supposed to go in my giveaway package, so... Uh, and the first thing is right on top. Okay, so the first book that I picked up is not typically something that I usually would read, and that is Everything Everything by Nicola Yoon. Um, so I typically don't read a lot of contemporary stuff, but this one actually sounded really cute, so I thought I would give it a shot. Um, it says, live life in a bubble or risk everything for love. My disease is rare as it is famous. Basically, I'm allergic to the world. I don't leave my house. I have not left my house in 17 years. The only people I ever see are my mom and my nurse, Carla. But then one day, a moving truck arrives next door. I look out my window and I see him. He's tall, lean, and wearing all black. Black t-shirt, black jeans, black sneakers, and a black knit cap that covers his hair completely. He catches me looking and stares at me. I stare right back. His name is Ollie. Maybe we can't predict the future, but we can predict some things. For example, I, Maddie, am certainly going to fall in love with Ollie. It's almost certainly going to be a disaster. So this one sounds really cute. Um, I've heard a few good things about it. I haven't heard too many reviews on it. So yeah, I think it might be like something out of my comfort zone, something I don't typically read. And I mean, that's good to do every once in a while, kind of step out of what you normally are into. So the next books, I guess. I ended up picking up a series. <laughs> I hope that they're good because I've never read any of them before. Um, but this is Escape from Asylum series. So I'm not sure what order they're supposed to be going in. Looks like I got one hardcover and the rest in soft cover. So there's five books all together. The Asylum, Escape from Asylum. So... I don't know which one goes first. Let's just take a look here. 
I, th I want to say this one is probably first. Um, yeah, so this is the original one. So I'm just going to read the back of this one. I'm not going to read the back of all of them. But it looks like they've taken something kind of from the Peculiar Children novels here. Um, and they've got these creepy photographs in them. You know how like one person starts something and then all of a sudden it's a huge thing and every author <laughs> follows suit. So that looks like it might be going on here. But this one says, once you get in, there's no getting out. For 16-year-old Dan Crawford, the New Hampshire College Prep Program is the chance of a lifetime. Except that when Dan arrives, he finds that the unusual summer housing has been closed, forcing finding that the usual summer housing has been closed, forcing students to stay in the crumbling Brooklyn dorm, formerly a psychiatric hospital. That would be creepy. As Dan and his new friends, Abby and Jordan, start exploring Brooklyn's twisty halls and hidden basement, they uncover disturbing secrets about what really went on here. Secrets that link Dan and his friends to the asylum's dark past. Because it turns out, Brooklyn was no ordinary psych ward, and there are some secrets that refuse to stay buried. Featuring haunting found photographs from real asylums, this mind-bending reading experience blurs the lines between past and present, friendship and obsession, genius and insanity. So that one sounded really good. I thought it sounded so good that I just like trusted in it and I bought the whole series. <laughs> so there's this one. Asylum is the first one. And then um, Sanctum is the second. Yeah, Sanctum is the second. And then Catacomb is the third. And then I guess probably this one. Oh, nope this next one the asylum novellas and then this last one escape from asylum so hopefully these are good because that would suck to have like bought an entire series if i don't like the first one so we will see i'll keep you posted on that this one would also be good for uh, for spookathon spookathon needs to be like the entire year long the next book that I got was The Book Jumper, and I can't remember what this one is about at all. For a teenage book jumper, reading is never without risk. Amy Lennox doesn't, doesn't know quite what to expect when she and her mother pick up and leave Germany for Scotland, heading to her mother's childhood home of Lennox House on the island of Stormzy. Amy's grandmother, Lady Mary, Married, insists that Amy must read while she resides at Lennox House, but not in the usual way. It turns out that Amy is a book jumper, able to leap into a story and interact with the world inside. As thrilling as Amy's new power is, it also brings danger. Someone is stealing from the book she visits, and that person may be after her life. Teaming up with fellow book jumper Will, Amy vows to get to the bottom of the thefts at whatever cost. I remember why I really liked this one. Um, this one reminded me of The Page Master. I don't know if you guys <laughs> ever remember that. If you're as old as me, you do. Um, but it was a movie with Macaulay Culkin, and he, that's pretty much the exact premise, like he was able to jump into books, and I used to love that movie. <laughs> so this kind of reminded me of that in like a more grown-up um, version of it. Looks like all these books that I got are YA novels, so that's definitely not something that I did not plan. But it looks like, yeah, they're mostly all YA that I picked up. And the last book of this package and the last book in this haul is Nightfall by Jake Halpern and Peter Kozinski. Um, and this one says, when sunset triggers the tide to roll out hundreds of miles, the islanders of bliss must quickly prepare to sail south, where they will wait at the long 14 years of unforgiving night. Marin and her twin brother, Kanna, ready their house for departure. Locks must be taken off doors, furniture arranged, tables set. The rituals are bizarre, but none of the adults in town will discuss why it has to be done this way. Just as the ships are about to sail, a boy goes missing, the twins' friend, Line. Marin and Kanna are the only ones who know the truth about where Line has gone, and the only way to rescue him is by doing it themselves. But night is falling, their island is changing, and it may already be too late. So I think what it was with this is that they have 14 years of straight daylight and then 14 years of straight night. So I don't know if something like evil goes on during that night and that's why they're all leaving i'm not sure but this one sounded really creepy so i thought that i would take a chance on it well you guys those are the books that i got in this last unboxing um there is a couple things in there that i did not show you due to it being part of my giveaway 
Um, but yeah, let me know in the comment section if you have read any of these books and what your thoughts on them were. And thank you so much for watching. I hope you're having an awesome day and I will see you in tomorrow's Halloween video where I'm continuing to upload every single day for the month of October. Have a great day, guys. Bye.